This week, I flew to Greece to play in my last event of the season. It was a 25k event in Heraklion. Now, you see me practicing at Moratoglu and in the UK with the likes of Brody, Draper, Popperin, Jules Marie, all in preparation for this event to try and get as much practice with high level players as possible. This, of course, is my last event of the season before my off season training camp. So, this is going to be a tournament where I give my all, give everything I have, and really try and get a win. When we got to the venue the night before, I wanted to check out the courts, so I managed to organize a hit with my friend Dimitris. He was also out in Italy, so I knew them from there. He's also Greek, so it was great to have a hit with him. We just went through the motions, hitting from the baseline, doing some volleys, serves, smashes, loads of interesting stuff to kind of get used to the court. One thing I did notice was the court was slightly slanted. This was to help with the water drainage when it rained, so there was a little bit of a bump at the baseline of the court, which definitely took a little bit of getting used to. I'm not sure how good you can see it on the video here, but it was quite noticeable when I was actually playing. So that did take a bit of getting used to. We also played some points as it was getting dark just to get a feeling for you know how I'd be playing on these courts. They were quite bouncy, quite slow, so I knew I'd have to move the ball around quite well, but also try and be aggressive and not let the points drag out too long. Otherwise, we'd be having some long rallies. On the day of the match, I, of course, had my breakfast. The breakfast at the hotel was really, really nice. And then it was straight to the tennis club to do a warm-up hit before my match. I was first on, I was super pumped. I went through the whole routine. I did my warm-up, I did hit with my friend, and then it was ready to go against a really high-level opponent. I'll tell you more about him when I commentate the match. Well, first, guys, I'm super excited to announce our new partner joining us on my journey is Fantium. Fantium is a platform where you guys as fans can invest in us as athletes via NFTs issued and sold by us, the players. The way it works is when you buy the NFT of a certain player, you get entitled to a percentage of that player's tennis prize money or other revenue streams over time, as well as some really cool money can't buy fan perks that you guys can use. They've just announced their first player, Dominic Team, who I'm sure you guys will know. If you go to the website, you can register for the pre-sale of his NFT now and a sneak peek I'm actually going to be releasing an NFT with Fantium next year, so stay tuned for that. I'm so, so excited to share it with you guys. So go and click the link in the description to go and check it out. And also, let me know down in the comments what fan perks you guys want to see on the NFTs for when my NFT comes out. I'm super interested to know what you guys think. And now, let's get back to the video. So in this match, my opponent was to be a ex top 150 ranked player in the world. Now, he hadn't played many tournaments recently this year. He would played one or two Futures events last year, beating some really high level players. And this year, it seemed like he was back for more in the qualifying draw against me. Um, so once again, you know, I went onto the court very positively, trying to play aggressively. These courts were quite slow and bouncy, so I tried to move the ball around the court, hoping that you know my fitness and my experience, you know, defending and running would uh, come in clutch against maybe a player that hasn't played many matches on court recently. But I, of course, knew that his strategy and his experience would um, you know, be an asset to him. So I kind of was quite cautious at the beginning of the match, trying to put as many balls in as possible and also trying to close the net to try and put as much pressure on my opponent as possible. I've got an early break point in this first game of the match, forcing him deep and um, as you can see, eventually then breaking there. Another thing I was trying to do was draw him in for the drop shot. I knew that potentially if the game was um, slightly longer, drawing him in for the drop shot and creating opportunities to make him run would be um, an asset in my, uh, my favour. And again here, winning my first service game as well, which was a very good sign, giving me some good confidence and a two-love lead at the beginning of this match. He was also very good when he kind of closed the net, tried to, to put the points away. So again, one of my strategies at the beginning of this match was trying to just keep it out of the, the kind of the centre of the court where it was kind of landing a little bit shorter and um, trying to force some errors on his behalf. Otherwise, I'd kind of be letting him dominate the match. Um, I do think that... You know, I was definitely underestimating his uh, his level going into this. After the first two games, I, I maybe got a little bit reluctant, but you know, his form kind of increased the more he played, I guess, because he hasn't played many matches. Um, but as you can see here, a few unforced errors to begin this match. It was slightly windy. I was trying to, you know, rely on my serve with the big one-two going straight at him there, getting a little bit lucky, but taking an early 3-1 lead. And like you can see there, just trying to be aggressive, use my forehand as much as possible, come to the net and um, try and, you know, lead from the front foot. Putting in a nice little chip return there and just missing that backhand down the line ball, obviously trying to go over the highest part of the net. That's potentially cost me a break point chance. And again, they're getting a little bit unlucky in that net core going wide. But again, I'm still on serve at 3-2 here. Still trying to hustle, still trying to play my game, move the ball around, get some good depth on the ball. You can see the ball bouncing up quite clearly. You know, he wasn't particularly tall guy, so you know, it was 
my aim was to try and get it out of his kind of hitting zone, out of his comfort zone and get on my forehand as much as possible and try and stay maybe on his forehand where I can kind of generate some pace and away from my backhand. Um, but again, just missing that forehand up the line, not quite timing it exactly correctly and uh, giving him three break point opportunities. I think this is something I can definitely improve on is not giving my opponent any kind of cheap games, cheap opportunities to try and break. And here, as you can see, getting a bit frustrated that he's then got the break to go three all, but nonetheless, we're still on serve. It's now time to regroup, refocus, and try and break back straight away. As you can see here, 30 all opportunity to maybe sneak a break point. And good on the defense, trying to get the ball nice and deep through the center of the court, play with margins, make sure I'm not missing. And he goes good depth into the corner, managed to get the ball in with a great defense. And again, they could have done a bit more on that slice, trying to just chip and hope in a little bit. Ball's traveling just wide. It's just come onto the net and he's managed to smash it away. I was hoping it would come back over. But he then gets a, a game point opportunity. Goes with the one-two back behind. Again here, hustling with the, with the slice. Going backhand through the center. And they're trying to get on the forehand side. And he was kind of beginning to take it a little bit earlier. He was, you know, beginning to read my game a little bit and use his forehand to kind of move the ball. Um, and kind of uh, move me around the court. And I thought, you know, in this game here, trying to just be nice and aggressive and uh, try and dominate with my forehand to, to try and break up the momentum that he's just kind of won you know, two or three games with a break. Unfortunately there, got broken after making a slight mistake on that forehand line. Gives him a, a serve, set point on serve to try and take this first set. It felt felt like this first set kind of slipped away from me. I was, you know, had a good start. You know, was was playing really solidly, and the momentum just shifted a little bit. A few games were close. Thirty all went to juice. I wasn't able to quite dig out those games, um, but I knew I was well in this match. You know, he was a, a very strong player, playing really well, moving me around the court. So I knew that I had to try and, um, you know, play some good tennis, play some, you know, positive tennis, constructing the point well. I think what I can definitely do is uh, use my defensive shots a little bit better not do that and go straight at, the, at him with the smash. I managed to recover that well. But I get a bit more depth um, and width on, the, on my shots. Um, I was getting a bit flustered kind of when he was taking the, ball, taking the ball early. So I definitely think that kind of coming forwards and me being the aggressor was, um, was working well. But as you can see there, again, he had kind of a few answers to, to some of my, um, my approach shots. So I definitely think that here I was really trying to, um, to hustle, find a way to kind of break his his momentum and try and build some momentum of, of myself um, and I think again here letting him dominate was probably not the best the best choice but I kept hustling I kept trying to find a way of winning the points um, to try and hang in there And again there, that's exactly what I should have been doing with the forehand, being nice and aggressive, taking it early. And it was working occasionally, but it wasn't working enough. Um, and that's something I definitely want to be working on in this off season uh, coming up in December, January, is really working on that one-two punch, also working on my defensive skills, getting high and deep, and also on the backhand, the, the width, depth, and the, the power on the shot. I think I've looked through some of my matches, as that was called just in, I believe. But I, I looked through some of my matches and um, I have had quite tough draws in the first round playing ATP ranked opponents. They've always gone quite deep or even qualified into the main draw, won one or two matches. Um, so I, I, I definitely think that the calibre of player is um, you know, the level that I need to be playing and hopefully um, going forward into the next year I can also get lots of opportunities to test myself in, in more tournaments. But unfortunately today it wasn't my day. During the off season I'm definitely looking to improve on all of my weaknesses. I'm going to be taking you guys on that journey with me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.